As the people who watch my videos know, um, I've been converting some of my nitro boats to electric, which is no big deal. I mean, you buy a LiPo battery, you buy an electronic speed control, a motor, brushless motor, and you're good to go, right? And I was converting, uh, you know, this one, and, you know, excuse the mess, but, you know, I've been using the uh, four millimeter uh, HXT connectors from China, and, uh, well, everything I everything I have in part as way of boats has these kind of connectors. Well, um, Turnigy batteries, Turnigy batteries come with the connector already installed. You know, so that's no big deal. Um, so when I bought these Turnigys, I'm thinking, you know, no big deal. And I didn't look at the spec. I, I didn't. These have size 12 wire on them, or 10 wire, size 10, and 4 millimeter connectors. Well, these come with 6 wire, 8 wire, and 6 millimeter connectors, which I have already taken off and put on 4. Well, what you got to do is you got to you got to you got to pre-tin the wire, let it cool, and then take it on a grinder or or whatever, and and grind it down to a smaller diameter to make it fit to make the six wire or eight wire fit into the cone or the cup of the HXT four millimeter connector. That doesn't work out so well. Because when you put the shrink tube on, and this is just an extra little bit of uh, connector that I put on there to protect it, but when you put the shrink tube on the female connector, you can't plug it into the male connector with a HXT connector. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You can't. It won't fit in the male side because the. Uh, um, the shrink shrink tube won't let it fit in there. So there, I was left with you know four batteries that I, I couldn't use anywhere. So I've come up with a solution. I'll show you that now. This is how to make size four mil, mil, size four millimeter bullet connectors fit size 8 wire. What you're going to need is black and red shrink tube or just black if you want if you want to not not worry about color coding. But what I do here, let's do the uh, let's do the negative side first. I've taken no, no, no. Pretend this is the six six millimeter connector. Just take the six millimeter connector off of there. Let's get uh, let's get you zoomed into the soldering iron there. And this takes a lot of heat, a lot of heat. This is an 825 degree soldering iron. There's a lot of heat here. Now see what I mean by, oh, this isn't one I did it to. Well, I can show you that. Um, what I'm doing is taking the wire and just melting it on, right? You're melting, melting the wire, pretty good. Then what you want to do is come over to a grinder. It's going to get loud here for a second. And grind that to a smaller diameter. 
also the HXT connector, the four millimeter. And actually we took off the we took off the male. Can fit right on there. Okay? And then you pre-tin your hole, which I'll show you now. Well actually, we'll want to for for setting up for the uh, the connector, you'll want to strip back, actually strip back a lot of the silicone wire because the silicone wire won't fit in this connector. I mean it won't slide through so you can solder on and pull it back in. So you got to remove, you got to remove it. So here's how I measure it. I measure, measured it like this. Just enough sticking out, right? And then about halfway up into the uh, the, the, the grippy thingy things there. And you just kind of you kind of take your knife and you, and you kind of go around very carefully. Go around. Silicone tube does not take a lot to cut. Or silicone wire does not take a lot to cut. And then, see? I was just barely pushing. And then, just barely score the silicone, being careful not to get down to the wire, just score the silicone. And what that'll do is it will allow you to peel it. Peel it off. Now, this connector will fit over the wire. See? But you don't want to have it bare like that. So what you do is you take your shrink tube and you cut a section. Just, you know, just, just somewhere in there, right? Give enough of an overlap onto the silicone to hold it in place. I got too small of, this is five millimeter shrink tube. It's too small. If you're going to do this, get the six millimeter shrink tube. What, you, what, what I'm having to do is, is stick this in the needle nose pliers and stretch it out a tad. Just stretch it out. Right. And then hurry up and put it on there. Come on, come on, get on there, get on there. Oh, I was a little slow. Oh, wait, hold on. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Alright. Then, shrink it on there. And what that does, is it allows the connector to be put on the wire. Yeah. Now, we go over to the soldering iron and we pre-fill down there and we kind of pre-tin the bullet connector and then we come over here and then we get that all nice and hot we get that that wire all nice and hot and you'll see it goes from a dull a dull finish on the on the solder to a a nice shiny one. And when it comes shiny, that means it's melted. And you, you stick it in there. And what you can do from here is you see that little hole in there? You can fill solder in that little hole. So make sure you've got it all the way through. Keep the heat on it, keep the heat on it, pull it off. My fingers are very warm right now. Ow.
stuff gets hot real quick. Once that cools, you can take you take the uh, you take the other half of a bullet connector and you put it on there, right? Put it on there, and then go ahead and pull that through, and then using that you push until you hear the click. See the click? Or hear the click? And now you're all in there. Oh crap, did you see what that did? That broke right there. Now, what am I going to do? I didn't let things cool for the video. That's, that's what happened. So I'll have to redo this. But you get the basic idea. So, yeah, that sucks. That really sucks. Now i got to take it all back apart. Oh well. <laughs> um, this is what the finished product looks like. When you let everything cool and... You let everything do what it's supposed to, and you know that's what that's what everything looks like when it's done. So and you're left with a four millimeter connector on eight wire. So thanks for watching.